Let's talk about Todoroki versus Dabi. And I'm talking about current Todoroki as of chapter 282. Is our boy Todoroki strong enough to take on Dabi, a member of the League of Villains? Let's discuss this. First of all, I'm the one Straw Hat. If you enjoy my content, please leave a like, comment, subscribe to the channel if you're new. If you're interested in seeing what I'm doing behind the scenes, follow me on Twitter. The handle is the one Straw Hat. Other than that, let's get right into this video. Play the intro. So this matchup's outcome is really hard to figure out. Because when I analyze characters in a battle, there's three things I generally look at. That's abilities, feats, and lore. So let's take a look at abilities. Let's start off with Todoroki. Todoroki has the half hot, half cold quirk, which is probably the, one of the strongest quirks we've seen. When Todoroki's both sides are used simultaneously, he has no weaknesses. With his right side, Todoroki is able to produce ice, and with his left side, he is able to produce flame. Let's move on to Dabi's quirk, Cremation. Now, Cremation gives Dabi access to producing blue flames, which are actually stated to be hotter than normal flames. However, Dabi does have one weakness that his body can't actually tolerate his flames that he produces. And if he uses it over a prolonged period of time, then he will actually burn. So in this case, who do I give the better ability to? That's obviously Todoroki. Next category is feats and experience. Now, this is kind of a tough one because we obviously do get to see more of Todoroki and Todoroki is in UA. But even then, there isn't really much Todoroki has done. He's just a UA student. Yes, he's a prodigy. And his quirk is hacks. But Dabi is an actual villain. Now, yeah, obviously UA might train you to become a better hero than someone that just starts out being a villain. They might make you stronger. But that's obviously over a period of time. Also, if we're going with uh, Dabi as Toya, that theory, if we're going to consider that theory true, then Toya should also be older than Todoroki, meaning Dabi is older than Todoroki, um, and with age comes experience. So for feats and experience, I'm going to have to give it to Dabi. Now, the final one is lore, which I said, but I don't think we could do lore in this case because none of them have lore about them. They're not major characters to the point where they need lore. Like, you don't usually hear stories about Todoroki, oh, he was so great, right? Whereas All Might, yeah, he has lore about him. We might have to throw lore out of the question. Now, if I put them up against each other, right? Let's say they have a battle. Will Todoroki's eyesight even come in handy? Because this is a battle of the elements, and we know elements in My Hero actually follow the same physics as elements in the real world. So if Todoroki uses ice against Dabi, who has probably the hottest flames we've ever seen, wouldn't he just be able to melt them? Whereas in the beginning, I did say Todoroki has the better quirk. But would he even be able to really use the ice against Dabi? And if we, if we cancel out the ice that Todoroki uses because of Dabi's flames, then it's going to be a flame on flame battle. And in that battle, I think Dabi wins. Dabi has the hotter flames. Even though Todoroki could use his flames for longer if he utilizes his ice side, the ice side is going to be pointless against Dabi's flames. So the only way I see Todoroki winning is if he prolongs the fight, which is actually something Todoroki might actually do, right? So Todoroki might use his ice side, but not in order to attack Dabi, but in order to prolong the fight. Maybe throw up some shields, maybe throw up a couple of barriers. We don't know how much Dabi's flames could actually take out of this ice, right? So if Todoroki does end up prolonging the fight, I could actually see Todoroki as the winner. But if Todoroki does not think of that and he decides to go head on first and he tries to like attack, which I don't think Todoroki would do, but I feel like he might because Todoroki usually, whenever he starts a fight, what is his first thing? He throws a giant ice wall. He's always quick to attack. So if Todoroki does that, then I see Dabi winning. Now, out of 100 fights, who do I think would win more? I think Dabi would win more. Um, I would say it's around like 60-40. It's a pretty close fight. If Todoroki ends up prolonging the fight, then, you know, Todoroki gets an advantage. But then also... Dabi does have experience and Dabi knows his quirk the best, so he might not let Todoroki do that. So yeah, I want to know what you guys think. If you guys think Todoroki would win, let me know in the comments down below. I think later on in the future, Todoroki will surpass Dabi and it won't even be a question. But as of right now, I still think Dabi is a little bit stronger. And that's just my personal opinion. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace out, everybody.